piece of paper but we're going to flip it and we're going to make it vertically because the balloon is way 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 up in the sky make sure you have your ruler pencil and eraser just like always as a club member we have to stick together all the time and keep doing our drawing lessons so today we're going to draw a big hot air balloon girls and boys here we go let's go okay you guys want to watch oh we're gonna watch the kids instead okay okay speedster let's see how we do here so now we're going to learn how to draw like a teardrop and I've got the border since my board is this way this so it's like drawing a heart but at the same time a big teardrop but upside down so if we're up hop, hop high in the sky so how about if we draw like a elongated heart so let's go like this and then like that and then this is going to be the center line, so you draw a line. And then we're going to do another one, like that. And then another little line like that. And then we'll make it even fatter. And, wow. And see, my lines are a little crooked too, but that's okay. We can fix that. I'm going to get my ruler, just so I can put my hand on it, like that. And then we're going to join all of these together. And then we're going to put like a little box here with a little flame. And you guys know how a hot air balloon goes? You know the motor that's in that? It is the hot air that goes up and expands in the balloon and expands, expands in the material. And as the air gets hotter, the balloon goes higher and higher because the air on the outside is cool. That's how it works. So that's the motor that's behind it. And then there's usually cables, and then there's like a little box, which is where people kind of stand in there and they, they look at all the nice scenery. And it, a lot of times they make it like a wicker box, so you can put like little lines like that. And then let's, let's draw some little people. And they got their hands up, and they're, this guy, he's pointing down there. He said, look, look, at, look up there. There we go. Now, what we want to do is put some nice, beautiful stripes, rainbow stripes, if you guys can color those in. So, again, you follow all these little bumps. So, we're going to go like that, like that, like this. And that's what makes it look fluffy. There you go, like that. Ooh. And if you want, we could, you know, you can fix this and just by doing another little stripe up there. there. And join that like that. That kind of gives it a little bit more height. Like that. And then we'll do another one. We'll put a big space here. And then we'll go the same way again. Like almost like little upside down waves. Like that. And then. And we'll do one more. Like that. And all these little lines, they all kind of join together. And then we can put another little cable here too, if we want. We can put another one back there. Like that. So there we go. Oh, look at that. I smudged it. But that's okay. It's art. Nothing's perfect. There we go. Now, really, really far, far away, we can put some clouds. Nice fluffy clouds. And then we'll keep the bottom of the cloud straight. Because they're really high up there like that. Then we can put some birds. My favorite little birds. And maybe we can put a sun back here. And like that. Ooh, that's reaching really high for me. 
And then let's put, uh, let's say like a mountain range. So to make it look like it's really high up, we could do a road kind of like this, like, you know, a little, so it's really far up and then some trees and then the mountain range always has like bushes and trees and mountains like that. So that's kind of like a horizon. You know what, we can even do this little fence if you want, like that. There we go. And you could put maybe a big lake here. There, like that. And some trees around the lake. We'll put another little bird down there too. So it looks like it's way, 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 way up. And then we can do the, the little movement lines, like that, like that, and there we go. And that's our lesson for today. And again, your little wiggly lines, just, you can make them all, just go over with your pencil, because you went lightly, and you can fix that, just like I'm doing. So there's our lesson for today. So don't forget, send them in, you, and we can color all these. You can do rainbow colors, yellows, and blues, and reds, and purples. It's going to look nice. And there's your scenery. Don't forget, it's going to be upright like this. So real quickly, we had another entry that came in. And this is Louie. And I think she loves Barbies because she loves the pink color. You know, look at that, eh? Wow, that's really cool. And uh, she put the hearts in here. And she put all the pink stripes. She put the row bar in. It looks great. And this is probably her second or third drawing that she's entered. But they're... they're uh, they're looking really, really good. So a lot of practice. And I hope you guys like my minute sketches so you can practice every day of the week almost. So when you bring in your piece of art or send me your piece of art, you'll get the motor kit pin. So that's our lesson for today. And uh, please send them in and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Bye-bye.